And when you look at text, especially on the web, we pretty much just scan the shape of it. And what makes it more readable is that, that shape is easy to, to uh, figure out. So on the lower cases here, you can see there are a lot of differences in the shapes and it's easy for us to grasp it really fast. So we read the words not in the entire word letter by letter only when we're starting, but we got so fast of it that we can sort of read this text here. If you look at it, it still makes sense if you just keep the first and the last letter, that's enough of us for the shape to make sense. It's on the bottom, it gets a little harder if you really jumble the letter like, extremely, but it's still something we can figure out. And it gets harder when it's all caps, which is sort of a problem in marketing because they always want to emphasize everything and make it loud and screaming. But in the end, they have to think about it that you're losing a little bit on the readability there. Because what we read when we scan the text is called saccades. So we jump and jump and jump and jump. So if you use these caps in, in, in all caps, it's like we're screaming at you at the same at the whole time. After a while, it's just going to be numbing. Another thing that we'll talk about a lot is uh, what's called the X height of the font. It's the actually the height of the uh, lowercase X. Like you can see here, differences. A font called Georgia that was specifically designed for the web and uh, a font in New York Times which was designed for the New York Times newspaper at the time. So at paper there's a difference to the web because usually screens are further away so it'll be harder to read it and needs to be a little larger and if you make you can see the times you see it's slightly lower the X height than in Georgia so the word Georgia looks optically much larger than the word times. And then on the bottom here, uh, looking at some sans serif versions and at Verdana, also especially designed, uh, same designer for, um, for the web. And Futura, especially not designed for the web because that was way before the internet. And it has a much lower X, which makes it kind of more stylish looking, but also it's a little harder to read optically. So you could see that you compared it to um, Times and Verdana, and uh, Verdana appears larger even though it's the exact same size. That's called the optical size. It's not the real size, but something that we perceive being larger. On the right side, you can see Verdana again against to the left side. I think that's Times again. Another thing that's uh, in we that makes it easier to read are those uh, open apertures they're also called the shapes that are in between if they're too tight then um, it's harder for us to see the contrast so wider is better more space between the letters can make it more readable some forms that we're kind of used to would make it more readable if it's very square we don't see this as a nine we, we kind of have to figure it out maybe a little bit longer the same with proportions more counter space will make it more readable. If there is the, the actual um, shape of the letter and then there's the counter shape of the letter. So the, the negative space, the insides or like the, the outsides around that space. So if you have a wider space inside the letters, a bigger O instead of a really thin, narrow one, then it's easier to read. You can see this in letters like that have a, a very big contrast between the vertical and the horizontal stems here. Uh, on the right side, there's Bodoni, which has a, a very thick contrast on purpose. Uh, I mean, it was Bodoni's intent to make him very thin in the middle because he wanted to show off how, how fine he could print a letter. But on the, on the left, you can see that's um, like an avant-garde, I would say. And if you make it much smaller, the, the left side is, is still much more readable than the right, even though it's bolder. There's also letter spacing is important. If it's too tight, it looks kind of jumbled to, together, like it's like a, a big um, ball of cables. And if it's too loose, it's very hard to read because your eye has to travel this far. So you want to make that sort of a rhythm that you expect when you look at it, when you read it. How fast do you want to read this? So you can at sometimes be very stylish and have very spaced out letter spaces in, in words, but you will make a message that is, you meant it to be more stylish than readable. 
also, I would say it's important to look at typefaces that are designed for the web because people 300 years ago, they didn't really know that the web would come up. They didn't know what a screen would be. So they didn't have this in mind when they designed the typefaces. So when you look back, maybe you want to like start looking for typefaces that were actually designed for the screen, then it would make more sense. What they always talk about, or what's, what's important to keep in mind is the measure. That's the length of uh, the paragraph line, like the length of one line. So if it's very short, um, sort of like a sidebar, then you have to switch all the time to a new line. It's, it's kind of annoying to read that. A comfortable, what they say, I think it's uh, 78 characters or so, but it really depends on the typeface that you're using. If it's too long, then it's very hard to find the next line when you're switching back to going down. So you might have to add more line height to make it more comfortable which I'm talking about here now, that if the longer your measure, the longer your line length, the more line height you want to give because you need to have the eyes to comfortably travel back to it. So there is sort of this triptych they say about type size, line length, and line height that makes it comfortable to read. So you find a balance between those three and there's a exercise in the in this week, well, or maybe next week, where you have a paragraph shaping and then you can play around with the uh, on on a uh, on the website to to figure out the ideal and what looks the best. So that's going to be a, a fun exercise. It might be next week. 